Airbnb laying off about 30% of its recruiting staff, even though the lodging rental company is saying that it still plans to expand its overall headcount this year. Now, these latest cuts come less than two years after a 25% reduction in staff in the early days of the pandemic. We want to bring in Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel. And Ali, I think the cuts here from Airbnb came as a bit of a surprise, given the fact that Chesky said he didn't have plans to do so not too long ago. That's absolutely true, Shauna. And but to be fair, let's start by being fair. These layoffs are a small percentage of Airbnb staff. The cuts we're talking about here are about 0.4 percent of the company's total workforce of about 6,800 workers. I did some back of the napkin math, and that shakes out to about 30 people in recruiting, which of course is difficult for those people, but isn't a a mass layoff by any stretch. That said, this is not exactly what Brian Chesky was promising in the company's earnings call just three weeks ago. Take a listen. We have a general philosophy that we want the very best people in every field to come to Airbnb in every function. We're functionally organized. And I think that, you know, we're one of the few tech companies that isn't, you know, doing layoffs. We're not cutting. We're not freezing. We're actually stepping on the gas. But in our mind, stepping on the gas doesn't mean adding a huge amount of people. We're going to continue to stay really lean. Um, but we're, we're really focused on just really hiring in key positions. In that call, Airbnb's CFO went on to say that he was actually expecting headcount to grow this year between 2 and 4%, which, to be fair, is down from about 11% last year, but still would be a modest growth. That said, what do we make of this in the context of the layoffs we've just seen? What, do, what should investors think about them? And I think the answer is to look to Chesky himself. Today, he's expected to speak at the Morgan Stanley TMT conference. And my big question, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, Has there been a change in how this company is approaching cost cutting? And will we see his tone shift? Should be interesting to find out. I'm just curious if you really did back of the napkin math. You're way too young to have ever done back of the napkin. Like, that's old guys like me. You do iPhone math. I just want to be clear about that. I will bring you the napkin, Dave. All right. Uh, Are there other CEOs who have made similar promises only to back away from the Mali? In some sense, yes. Back in November, for instance, reportedly CF- CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, sorry, Meta, CFO, <laughs> CEO of Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, said that he didn't anticipate more layoffs just after cutting about 11,000 people. That said, there are reportedly more layoffs set to happen at Meta in the coming weeks. However, I don't know if I put this in the same category as Chesky. He's, I think the writing has sort of been on the wall on this one for a while. For example, in Meta's earnings call just a couple of weeks ago, we heard them saying efficiency, cost cutting, and that often translates to something like layoffs. And I I think the bottom line here, Dave, really comes down to a bigger point, which is that we've been talking about this deluge of tech layoffs for six months or more, and it doesn't seem like it's coming to stop. So far this year, data suggests that more than 120,000 tech employees have lost their jobs. So we've been talking about this flood of layoffs since mid-2022, and it's not stopping. And I think that's maybe the most important thing to remember. Also not denting that labor market, though. Massive job creation, still very tight overall. And still, when you look at tech, it's only about 2% of the overall labor force, so relatively minimal when you talk about the country's workforce as a whole. Ali Garfinkel, great stuff. Thanks so much.